Today I'm going to show you how to connect Trello with Confluence to get the project management capabilities of Trello combined with the document management abilities of Confluence. Okay, so here we have our Trello board and this is great, but sometimes you just want to add a bit more information to your board um, and you often want to link it off to other pages that have loads more text and just pages you can add lots more detail that you can then you can maybe fit into the description field on a Trello card. So one great tool to look at as an option for this is Confluence. It's uh, another Atlassian product similar to Trello and therefore they do link up quite well together. So to give you an idea of what Confluence looks like, this is a brand new Confluence space um, or instance. Uh, this is Confluence Cloud, just to note there's a difference between cloud and server or data center. Um, the cloud version tends to work best with Trello, so I'm going to stick with that for now. Um, but here's an example of a, a dummy page, and it's just great for keeping your team up to speed with what's going on. It's a really um, great way to share information amongst a team or a company. As you can see, you can add loads of information um, that can really help with this. So, but what happens if your team are using Trello? Well, that's great, um, but some people might not be using Trello and they prefer to stick to Confluence. So if that's the case, then what's really handy is you can add your Trello information into Confluence so it's accessible from within here as well. So this should actually already be installed within Confluence. If it's not, then you may need to go to apps and find new apps. Uh, so if you manage apps, you can actually just see uh, all the way down here we have, let's just find it quickly, here we go. So Trello uh, is already enabled. Uh, it should already be enabled on most instances, but if it's not for whatever reason, if you go to find apps, then you can quickly search for it. And this is the power up you need. So um, yeah, you can just see it. it's already added here. So you could just add this um, to your instance and then that should all be, be working. And so yeah, back to our page. If we were to just edit this, we can now add in some Trello information. So just to show you as an example, if we click up here, there's an option here to add a Trello board. So let's just take the URL of our board from over here. We can play, paste that into there. can change the height and things as well, but that should give us now a quick preview. And here we go. So now we can see this is our board. And if we save this, it will now be embedded into this page itself. And once we publish this page properly, we'll actually be able to see not only see the board, but interact with it as well. So I actually probably could have done this on a full page. That would have been a little bit easier, but you can see, you can view the board. I've got a bunch of power ups and things on here, so they're a bit stacked at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is fully interactable, so you can move things around, basically just use the Trello board as you would have um, just through your browser itself. So you can open up cards and there's various, yeah, it's, it's fully functional to be honest. Uh, I've even noticed here I have a Chrome extension installed and that seems to be pick, picked up too, so that's interesting. Um, yeah, I wouldn't guarantee that it'll all work like that, but that one does seem to be, so. Yeah, it's really helpful. I think this is a great feature. It's especially if you're planning a project and you do have lots of information that you need to get across to people. This really helps. And um, of course, as this is going to be a live view of your Trello board as you work on it, as you update your cards and uh, move things through, anyone who opens up this Confluence page just to check in on their plans, they can see a live version of what's happening without needing to be added to a board or remember which board to check. It's all in all in one place. Okay, so there's just one other thing to mention as well. You can actually add 
um, the integration on your board as well. So the one thing this will add you is a button yeah, under each card so you can now do a couple of things such as attach recent pages or posts or you can even create one from this card and that will obviously sync up with your Confluence instance as well. So if we click attach, we've got a couple here. Um, test card two, for example. And down here now we can see under this Confluence section we have this. And so this should link through to our page. So here we go. This is now we're in Confluence. So as you can see, it's just a really quick way of keeping keeping information in, in one place and keeping Trello as the kind of source of truth, let's say. Uh, so to get this button here, you just need a power up. So the usual way of installing power ups, go down to click on power ups or add power up here. And we'll just look for Confluence, Confluence Cloud. And I've already enabled it, but there you go. That's where you would find it. And if you need a bit more information, here you go. So that's it. So there you have it. That's how you uh, integrate Confluence Cloud with Trello. And hope that was useful. Uh, if you like that and you want to see more videos just like this, then um, drop a comment to, to give me an idea of what to do next. But also uh, it'd be great if you could like this video and hit subscribe and then you'll be well informed for when we put out the next video just like this one. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.